So start. Hello everyone. Welcome to Sifla, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In Learn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on students' progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule and also we handle custom requests. A key feature is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on a monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests and all these practice tests are subjective tests for your school examination. So students, those are new book of free trial class today. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel, hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I am Shashank sir. Today, I will be teaching you the second part of the chapter congruence. So, objectives of today's class will be, you are going to learn SAS congruence rule, you are going to learn ASA congruence rule, you are going to learn RHS congruence rule. All these three things we are going to learn in this today's class. Do you remember what did we discuss in the last class? Yes, we discussed about the similarity, about the congruence and we have discussed about the triple S congruency rule which stands for side, side, side congruence. Now, let's revise based on what we have learned in the previous class. Can a circle and a rectangle be congruent to each other? Give reasons. Now, see here, there's a circle. There's a rectangle now, can they be congruent to each other okay so congruence means two geometrical figures should be having same shape this is a circle this is a rectangle how can they be of same shape so this are not congruent okay they are not even similar so this cannot be congruent because they don't have same same shape now in the given figure state the congruent triangles angle see the length ab is equal to the length pq in triangle abc and triangle pq are ab is equal to pq okay bc is equal to qr and ca is equal to rp i have taken this in order so what does this imply this imply triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQ. Yes. Let's play a game again. Let's draw the triangle. So remember Param and Anuj. This time Anuj draws a triangle and Param needs to draw the exact copy of that triangle. Okay. So three features are given. AC side is given, angle C A B is given, and, and the length B C is given. Now remember, okay, this is the main point. The angle which they have given needs to be the included angle. That is the angle between the two given sides. Two given sides means the dimension which we know. If it is some other angle, it is difficult to draw. It should be the included angle only between the two sides of which length we know. Yes. Now, hint, the length of one side of the triangle is 5 cm and one angle is 70. Now, there are three angles. We don't know which one to draw. Okay, is this enough for Param to make the triangle congruent to another triangle? No, not at all. We may get different, different cases, different, different dimensions. Hint 2, the length of one side of the triangle is 5 and the other is 7 cm and the angle between them, dekho pe, and the angle between them, this is the main thing, is 70. Can we draw? Yes, this is enough. Okay, is this enough for Param to make the triangle congruent to Anu's triangle? Yes. Now, Param can make the triangle congruent to Anu's triangle by, by Anu's. Now, dekho, BC is 5 cm, draw BC. Now, Place the compass, draw the 70 degree angle now with C as a center, draw an arc on this line because that it intersects at A which is equal to 7 centimeter. From that point you join this, we get the congruent triangle which we have drawn. Now, what do we conclude in this game? 
सो कंडीशन फॉर कॉन्ग्रुएंस एस एस रूल जो मैंने बोला था स्टैंड फॉर साइड एंगल साइड इफ टू साइड एंड द एंगल बिटवीन दिस टू साइड ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज इक्वल टू to the two sides and the angle between them of the another triangle that the triangles are congruent okay you can say the triangles are congruent yes let's check if the following triangles are congruent or not ab is equal to c then triangle abc and pqr ab is equal to pr okay so angle abc is equal to angle rpq okay and pq is equal to um, bc yes so two sides and the included angle is same what can we conclude triangle abc is congruent to triangle rpq dekho r and a okay angle p and angle b c and q okay as a match karna hai and we can say using sas congruence we can say this two triangle r similar okay so prove that the triangles given below are congruent yes in triangle abc and triangle prq hmm ab is equal to pr angle abc is equal to angle pr Q, BC is equal to RQ. Therefore, using SAS congruence rule, what can we say? Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PRQ. Got this? Yes. Similarly, we have two more conditions for congruence of triangles. Can you guess what are this could be? there is a condition of convergence okay which is asa angle side angle if two angles and the side between them of a triangle is equal to the corresponding angles and the sides between them then the two triangles are congruent okay so two angles see here this angle and the angle this angle and the angle and the included side if they are equal this two triangles are congruent okay this is asa criteria okay let's visualize asa criteria kya diye hai dekho wahan pe let's see this okay it's going to take time to load this yes okay What's this? Okay, I don't know how this works. We need to fix it. Okay, find the congruent triangles in the figure. Okay, so we need to find the congruent triangles. Now see here, in triangle CAB and in triangle cab and triangle c r p angle cab is equal to angle c r p yes 70 is equal to 70 okay and ab is equal to pr length ab is equal to pr and angle cba is equal to angle cpr okay from asa criteria triangle cab is congruent to triangle cr for this yes two angles and the included side are same two triangles are equal equal iska matlab kya hai this means congruent hai iska matlab kya hai okay so iska matlab hai 
we know already that this angle and this angle are same okay this angle and this angle are same this side is equal to this side what about the remaining angle this is also same as this because they are congruent what about the remaining two sides ac is equal to cr okay and bc is equal to cp wo bhi equal hai all the three sides all the three angles are same as the other triangle this is the meaning of congruence what is a right angle triangle right angle triangle okay one of the angle is 90 degrees okay we have some names for this special triangle the opposite side is opposite side to the 90 degree angle is known as hypotenuse the other two sides are known as legs or heights and base yes conditions for congruence are at just right angle hypotenuse and side okay so two right angle triangles are there 90 degree will always be same okay so right angle if the hypotenuse are equal and any one of the sides are equal we can say two triangles are congruent pehle to condition tha if you are taking two sides the included angle must be same here it is okay because of the special case of because it's a right angle triangle right angle should be same hypotenuse should be same and any one of the sides should be same we can say two triangles are congruent iska matlab baki sab angles and baki sab sides same hi hai prove that triangle abc is congruent to triangle crp yes in triangle a b c and triangle c r p okay so we have angle a b c equal to angle mm, c r p which is equal to 90 degrees yes see the hypotenuse is equal they have mentioned this two is than this two so this two are same ac is equal to bc the hypotenuse are same and ab is equal to cr so right angle is same hypotenuse is same one of the side is same from rhs criteria okay triangle abc is congruent to triangle p c p r or this i mean to say crp okay yes crp yes next problem guys if triangle tqs is congruent to they go tqs is congruent to rmn then find angle n and find angle r okay now see here we know that sum of interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees in triangle tqs angle t plus angle q plus angle x should be 180 degrees angle q and s is 60 plus 40 100 degrees so this is 180 minus 100 which is 80 degrees now since these two triangles are congruent the sides are same the angles are same okay so seeing this triangle okay they have only mentioned q is equal to 60 okay now seeing this triangle visualizing this triangle okay this will be equal to 40 and this will be equal to 80 since the two triangles are congruent angle s will be equal to angle n which is 40 degrees and angle t is equal to angle r which is equal to 80 degrees yes in the given figure, check whether the triangle PQR is congruent to triangle LMN. Check karne ko bola hai. Okay. So, in triangle PQR and triangle LMN, angle RQP or you can say angle PQR, angle PQR is equal to angle LMN which is 90 degrees opposite side to 90 degrees is the hypotenuse okay 
so because of the symbol representation these two sides are equal pr is equal to lm okay given this is given data and this is the hypotenuse and pq is equal to lm pq is equal to lm so from rhs criteria we can say triangle pqr is congruent to triangle lmn yes find the value of p and q in the given figure okay so yes okay find the value of p and q in the given figure okay 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 okay, okay. yes guys so see this whenever two lines intersect vertically opposite angles are equal so this angle is equal to this angle okay and they have marked it like this so this angle is also equal to this angle okay now they should have mentioned one side is equal okay so this is 19 this is 17 they haven't mentioned any side as equal so this angle will be definitely equal to this okay so because two angles are same the other three angle will be definitely same about the side they have not mentioned it i think they have missed this so ao is equal to od if they mention this so using um, angle side angle rule the two triangles are congruent and we can say 2q plus 7 is 19 and 17 is equal to 3p plus Okay, find the value of P and Q. They have said. Let's find the value of P and Q. Or they mean to say this is a 90 degree. If this is 90 degree, then then we yes, mention करना है. They have forgotten this. So after proving these two triangles are congruent, we can say AB is equal to CD. AB is 17 and CD is 3P plus. Now 3p is 17 minus 2. Take the transpose. We get 15. 3p is equal to 15. P is equal to 15 by 3. 3 fives are 15. P is equal to 5 centimeter. Similarly, about q. Okay, 2q plus 7. 2q plus 7 is equal to 19. 2q is equal to 19 minus 7, which is 12. Q is equal to 12 by 2, which is 6. Q is equal to 6 centimeters. These are the values of P and Q, not the dimensions. Substitute the values, you will get the dimension, guys. Okay? Yes. In the given figure, AB is equal to AC. AD by is the bisector of angle BAC. State the three pairs of equal parts in the triangle. triangle adb and triangle adc okay so the given parts are okay, is triangle congruent to this give reasons is this this give reasons okay now see after dividing this three parts so ab bd and ad are the three sides ac cd and ad are the three parts now in triangle B A D and triangle C A D. A B is equal to A C because they have mentioned this. Okay, and angle B A D is equal to angle C A D because A D is the perpendicular bisector. देखो यहाँ पे guys. In triangle A B. You can say ADB and triangle ADC. AB is equal to AC, which is given. Okay, angle BAD is equal to angle CAD because AD is the perpendicular angular bisector. It will bisect the two angles in two equal parts, and AD is equal to AD, the common side. okay 
from side angle side criteria triangle ADV is congruent to triangle ADC. This implies BD is equal to CD. The angles are same. Okay. So, we can also write angle B is equal to angle C. Yes. Is this give reasons? We have given reasons using SAS criteria. Is angle B is equal to angle C? Yes. Since they are congruent, this angles are equal. Yes. In the given figure, okay, DA is perpendicular to AB, CB is perpendicular to AB and AC is equal to BD. State the three pairs of equal parts in angle ABC and angle DAB. Which of the following statement is meaningful? Triangle ABC is congruent to BAD or triangle ABC is congruent to ABD. Okay. And now, Deko, I am starting from the top point B. ABC. Deko, ABC. A is 90 degree. They have taken it first. So, ABC. So, take the 90 degree first, which is B and then the top one which is A and the last one B. A, B, C. Achha, achha. Just a minute guys. A is the pointed one. B is the 90 degree angle and C is the last one. Similarly, B is the pointed one. A is the 90 degree angle and this should be this. Okay. In triangle ABC and triangle BAD, angle A is equal to, this may angle A, in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to angle A, 90 degrees. The hypotenuse are same. Okay. So, in triangle ABC, AC is the hypotenuse. Here, BD is the hypotenuse. They are same. And AB is the common side. AB is equal to AB. From RHS rule, these two triangles are congruent. And this is meaningful. Yes. ABC is an isosceles triangle. With AB is equal to AC. And AD is one of its altitude. Okay. State, whether, state the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ADB. And triangle AD, C is triangle this congruent to this. Why or why not is this? Why or why not is this? This is okay. So our main aim is to prove this triangle is congruent to the other triangle. Okay, ADB, ADC. In triangle ADB and triangle ADC. Okay, AB is equal to AC given because it's isosceles triangle. Okay, so in isosceles triangle, the altitude bisects the angle. So angle BAD is equal to angle CAD because it is a property of isosceles triangle. The altitude will bisect the angle. And AD is equal to AD, which is a common side. So, using SAS criteria, these two triangles are congruent. Yes, even we can use R, H and S. Right angle, opposite side and right angle, hypotenuse and the one of the side. Even using that, we can say it is congruent after proving it congruent bacha kya hai angle b is equal to angle c bd is equal to dc because they are congruent yes this can be proved like this yes okay so last few problems are there let's solve them before we end this chapter so under the given correspondence two triangles are congruent if two sides and the angle included 
between them in one of the triangle is equal to corresponding sides and between the other side this about known as sas congruence of two triangle two sides and included angle is equal okay if two angles and side included is equal so it is asa yes okay if the hypotenuse one leg and the 90 degree is equal so it is rhs congruence yes if triangle abc is congruent to triangle b pqr okay then angle a corresponds to angle p when we want to show triangle art is congruent to triangle pe and we have to use asa criteria okay we have at is equal to pn angle a is equal to angle p what more we need to show okay so yes ye draw karna padega to hi samajh mein aayega art p e n okay now see taken in same order at is equal to pn angle a is equal to angle p we need to show ar is equal to pe okay so wo side to ye option mein nahi hai so using asa criteria we need to show angle t is equal to angle n hey angle t is equal to angle n yes this is the right answer using asa criteria angle t is equal to angle n so that's all all the answers are right coming back to the lesson plan so what did we learn today we studied about sas congruence rule we studied about asa congruence rule and also we studied about rhs congruence rule of a triangle so that's all for today then okay so if you have liked my today's video don't subscribe don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any updates and also you will never miss any upcoming videos that's all for today. I'm Shishang sir signing off. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.